Hello everyone. So now we will do the remaining part. I hope you already watched the last video. What we done? We create the topology there. Now we are going to give the IP schema and then we are going to do the configuration here. Maybe you will have three to four video for this lab. So try to watch all. Now in this one we will do some stuff. In next video we will do some more stuff like that we are going to do. So let me write here the IP schema. Here we are going to use let me write 192.168.1.1. Okay, here I am going to use this interface 192.168.1.2.1. And here we are going to use 192.168.3.1. And this side, we will use 192.168.4.1. Okay, so this way we will use this one here. This will be for this interface. This will be for this interface. This will be for this interface. And in between, we will use the different IP schema. Here, if you see, we have this is a R2 and this is a R1. So in between, we will use 192.168.4.1. 12.0 so 12.1 here 12.2 here and in between this one we will use 192.168.23.0 so 23.0 we are going to use so here this side will be 192.168.23.1 and 23.2 here now let's see here this is a 3 and this is a 2 so we will use 23 here we use 20 23 we use here so this is a r1 so we will use here 13 instead of 23 i am giving the router number you can use anything no issue so here i will give in this place in between r3 and r2 in between r3 r2 we will use here 192.168.23.0 okay so this is the IP schema we are going to configure to the router then we are going to run the routing protocol we can use any routing protocol you can use EAGRP OSPF any routing protocol. So this is our topology and here this server will have the IP example I will write here IP 192.168.4.1 we can say okay. And this PC we can write here label 192.168.1.2. Just I will give label here. And this will be 2.2. If you see here gateway is 192.168.2.1. So here I am writing 2.2. Here I will write 3.2. Just I am putting label. Later I will assign the IP. 192.168.3.1 is a gateway. This is a ip of the router interface and this ip for this machine is 3.2 so let's start the configuration i will take first the router r1 and we will do the basic configuration here so let me take the cli this is a cli of the router now we are going to do the configuration so what i will do here i will write here enable config t to to go in the global configuration mode we are using config t then i want to change the name of the router so i will write host name r1 after that i need to assign the ip if you see i need to assign 192 1.1 1 for this interface if you are confused move like this and check so this is the fast ethernet 1 by 0 okay so what i will do here i will write here fast ethernet 1 by 0 so i will write interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 i will i assign i i go under that interface i will write ip address now i am going to assign 192.168.1.1 then subnet mask because this is a class c ip so i will give the class c ip subnet mask and i will write no shirt here i assign the ip to this interface Okay, now I need to assign the IP to this interface that is a fast Ethernet 1 by 1. So I will write here interface fast Ethernet 1 by 1 and I will write IP address 192.168.2.1. Give space, write the subnet mask, whatever the subnet mask you plan. 
okay and then no shirt so these two interface go up and now we need to look the this two we have two more interface so now if you see here what interface I have I need to check that one if you see here I have two interface so let's see which interface where it is connected okay so if you see this interface is f0 by 0 this interface is f0 by 1 so let me assign f0 by 0 f0 by 0 is having 192 168 13.1 so what I will do I will go to f0 by 0 okay I will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and then I will write here IP address 192.168.13.1255.255.255.0 and I will write here no shirt okay so one interface this one is done now I need to do this one so I will write here interface pass ethernet 0 by 1 I will write here IP address what is the IP we are going to use this one right let me move this up so this is the IP we plan to use this one so I will write here 192.168.12.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write here no shirt so what I done just I assign the IP address here okay and if you want you can save the configuration we will write do wr to save the configuration now if you want to ping you can ping you can check this one you can ping your gateway or not so what i will do i will assign the ip to this computer i open this computer go to desktop assign ip here here i am going to assign the ip so this is the IP so I will write here 192.168.1.2 and then default subnet mask whatever we have and then the gateway 192.168.1.1 I assign the gateway now I will try to ping my gateway I can ping or not just to make sure we are configuring correct IP so let's ping I will write ping yeah it is working I can ping my gateway okay so this is good no issue now we will move to this router we will do this router then we will go for this router so I will take the CLI of this router okay and let me move this here like this so we can see what interface we have here this IP we need to assign fast Ethernet 1 by 0 so I will go here I will write here enable config T host name this is the R, R2 yeah and then interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 I will write here IP address 192.168.168.3.1255.255.255.0 and we will write here no shirt ok this one I done and after that if you see we have fast ethernet 0 by 0 this one okay if you see this is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 is connected oh yeah fast this one fast ethernet 0 by 0 is having 12.2 .2. so let me go interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write here ip address 192.168.12.2 and i will write no shirt here so R2 I assign here also IP now I need to assign F0 by 1 so I will write interface F0 by 1 here and IP address what IP we plan we will use here 23 192.168.23.1 255.255.255.0 I will write here no shirt so I assign IP here so our R2 configuration is also finished now I will go to the R3 so let me go to R3 here I will go I will take the CLI of R3 and let me move this here now this is the F0 by 0 so I will go here first of all I will change the name of the router to R3 into our host name R3 and then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 I will write here IP address 192.168.13.13.2 okay because 13.1 we already use here 
this interface so 13.2 and write the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut here this interface is finished now we have two more interface if you see this one is a f0 by 1 okay so i will go here f0 by 1 interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 i will write here ip address 192.168.23.2 right 255.255.255.0 no shut this one 23.1 we use for this router 23.2 we use for this router now we have f1 by 0 so let's go to that interface interface f1 slash 0 i will write here ip address and then you need to write here ip which ip 192 168 4.1 this is a 4.1 okay and give you space right 255.255.255.0 and write here no shut and write do wr to save the configuration so this interface also go up we assign this ip okay and let's see here we assign ip we did not so let me assign the ip here also here 192.168.2.2 and the gateway will be 192.168.2.1 this is this pc i am doing now let me assign to this pc also here what is the ip 192.168.3.2 and the gateway will be 192.168.3.1 okay and for this one 4.2 so let me assign the ip to the server also 192.168.4.2 and the gateway will be 192.168.4.1 so now our topology is okay ready but they will not it will not work because routing protocol is still not configured if you want to check you can check here we can go here and we can write show ip root you see directly connected whatever directly connected you have only that information is showing so what we need to do we need to run the ospf or eagrp any routing protocol whatever you want to run ebgp ospf eigrp isis static route default route whatever you want you need to run when you run then only you will have the connectivity now this pc cannot access the server if you see this server 4.2 they cannot access if you ping ping 192.168.4.2 it will not work see destination host unreachable why it is not working because they don't have route they should have the forward and reverse both route we don't have any road route here so what we need to do we need to configure the routing protocol in between this router so what we are going to do in our next class we are going to do the configuration that is routing protocol configuration we are going to do in our next class okay thank you see you